The PlayStation officially abbreviated to PS, and commonly known as the PS1 or its codename, PSX is a home video game console developed and marketed by Sony Computer Entertainment. The console was released on 3 December 1994 in Japan, 9 September 1995 in North America, 29 September 1995 in Europe, and 15 November 1995 in Australia. The console was the first of the PlayStation lineup of home video game consoles. It primarily competed with the Nintendo 64 and the Sega Saturn as part of the fifth generation of video game consoles. The PlayStation is the first computer entertainment platform to ship 100 million units, which it had reached nine years and six months after its initial launch. In July 2000, a redesigned, slim version called the PS1 was released, replacing the original gray console and named appropriately to avoid confusion with its successor, the PlayStation 2. The PlayStation 2, which is backwards compatible with the PlayStation's DualShock controller and games, was announced in 1999 and launched in 2000. The last PS1 units were sold in late 2006 to early 2007 shortly after it was officially discontinued, for a total of 102 million units shipped since its launch 11 years earlier. Games for the PlayStation continued to sell until Sony ceased production of both the PlayStation and PlayStation games on 23 March 2006 over 11 years after it had been released, and less than a year before the debut of the PlayStation 3. On 19 September 2018, Sony unveiled the PlayStation Classic, to mark the 24th anniversary of the original console. The new console is a miniature recreation of the original PlayStation, preloaded with 20 titles released on the original console. It is set for release on 3 December 2018, the exact date the console was released in Japan in 1994. History Development the inception of what would become the released PlayStation dates back to 1986 with a joint venture between Nintendo and Sony. Nintendo had already produced floppy disk technology to complement cartridges, in the form of the family computer disk system, and wanted to continue this complementary storage strategy for the Super Famicom. Nintendo approached Sony to develop a CD-ROM add-on, tentatively titled the PlayStation or SNES CD. A contract was signed, and work began. Nintendo's choice of Sony was due to a prior dealing. Ken Kutaragi, the person who would later be dubbed the father of the PlayStation, was the individual who had sold Nintendo on using the Sony SPC 700 processor for use as the 8 channel ADPCM sound set in the Super Famicom SNES console through an impressive demonstration of the processor. S capabilities, Kutaragi was nearly fired by Sony because he was originally working with Nintendo on the side without Sony's knowledge while still employed by Sony. It was then CEO, Norio OHGA, who recognized the potential in Kutaragi's chip, and in working with Nintendo on the project. OHGA kept Kutaragi on at Sony, and it was not until Nintendo cancelled the project that Sony decided to develop its own console. Sony also planned to develop a Super NES compatible, Sony branded console, but one which would be more of a home entertainment system playing both Super NES cartridges and a new CD format which Sony would design. This was also to be the format used in SNES CDs, giving a large degree of control to Sony despite Nintendo's leading position in the video gaming market. The product, dubbed the PlayStation, was to be announced at the May 1991 Consumer Electronics Show CES. However, when Nintendo's Hiroshi Yamauchi read the original 1988 contract between Sony and Nintendo, he realized that the earlier agreement essentially handed Sony complete control over any and all titles written on the SNES CD-ROM format. Yamauchi decided that the contract was totally unacceptable and he secretly cancelled all plans for the joint Nintendo-Sony SNES-CD attachment. 
Instead of announcing a partnership between Sony and Nintendo, at 9 a.m. the day of the CES, Nintendo chairman Howard Lincoln stepped onto the stage and revealed that Nintendo was now allied with Philips, and Nintendo was planning on abandoning all the previous work Nintendo and Sony had accomplished. Lincoln and Minoru Arakawa had, unbeknownst to Sony, flown to Philips. Global headquarters in the Netherlands and formed an alliance of a decidedly different nature one that would give Nintendo total control over its licenses on Philips machines. After the collapse of the joint Nintendo project, Sony briefly considered allying itself with Sega to produce a standalone console. The Sega CEO at the time, Tom Kalinske, took the proposal to Sega's board of directors in Tokyo, who promptly vetoed the idea. Kalinsky, in a 2013 interview recalled them saying, That's a stupid idea, Sony DOESN.T know how to make hardware. They don't know how to make software either. Why would we want to do this? Quote dot. This prompted Sony into halting their research, but ultimately the company decided to use what it had developed so far with both Nintendo and Sega to make it into a complete console based upon the Super Famicom. As a result, Nintendo filed a lawsuit claiming breach of contract and attempted, in U.S. federal court, to obtain an injunction against the release of what was originally christened the PlayStation, on the grounds that Nintendo owned the name. The federal judge presiding over the case denied the injunction and, in October 1991, the first incarnation of the aforementioned brand new game system was revealed. However, it is theorized that only 200 or so of these machines were ever produced. By the end of 1992, Sony and Nintendo reached a deal whereby the PlayStation would still have a port for SNES games, but Nintendo would own the rights and receive the bulk of the profits from the games, and the SNES would continue to use the Sony-designed audio chip. However, Sony decided in early 1993 to begin reworking the PlayStation concept to target a new generation of hardware and software. As part of this process the SNES cartridge port was dropped and the space between the names PlayStation was removed becoming PlayStation, thereby ending Nintendo's involvement with the project. According to a Sony engineer, all work on the console from the time of the partnership with Nintendo was eventually scrapped, and the PlayStation design was restarted from scratch. Sony S. North American division, known as Sony Computer Entertainment America SCEA, originally planned to market the new console under the alternative branding, PSX, following the negative feedback regarding PlayStation in focus group studies. Early advertising prior to the console's launch in North America referenced PSX, but the term was scrapped before launch, according to SCE. S. Producer Ryoji Akagawa and Chairman Shigeo Maruyama, there was uncertainty over whether the console should primarily focus on 2D sprite graphics or 3D polygon graphics. It was only after witnessing the success of Sega's Virtua Fighter in Japanese arcades that the direction of the PlayStation became instantly clear and 3D polygon graphics became the console's primary focus. Unlike Sega, Sony had no arcade division from which to draw console selling ports, or any in-house development to speak of. To solve this problem, Sony acquired studios such as Psygnosis and signed exclusivity deals with hot arcade publishers Namco and Williams Entertainment. Industry hype for the console spread quickly, and in early 1994 GamePro reported that Many video game companies feel that in the near future, the video game platforms to contend with will be from Nintendo, Sega, and Sony. Emphasis in original Topic. Launch Topic. The PlayStation was released in Japan on 3 December 1994, North America on 9 September 1995, Europe on 29 September 1995, and Oceania on 15 November 1995. The console was an immediate success in Japan, selling over 2 million units within its first six months on the market. In the U.S., 800,000 were sold in 1995 i.e. four months on the market, giving the PlayStation a commanding lead over the other consoles of its generation, though it was still being outsold by the older Super NES and Sega Genesis. 
The launch price in the U.S. market was $299 and Sony enjoyed a very successful launch with titles of almost every genre, including Battle Arena Toshinden, Warhawk, Air Combat, Philosoma, Ridge Racer and Rayman. Unlike the vast majority of gaming consoles of the time, the PlayStation did not include a pack-in game at launch. Sony reported strong software sales in the months following launch, with an attach rate of 4 to 1. Then Microsoft chairman, Bill Gates, preferred Sony's console to the competition from Sega, saying, Our game designer likes the Sony machine. Microsoft would later compete with Sony with its Xbox console. In a special Game Machine Cross review in May 1995, Famicom Sushin would score the PlayStation console a 19 out of 40. The staff of Next Generation reviewed the PlayStation a few weeks after its North American launch. They commented that while the CPU is fairly average, the supplementary custom hardware such as the GPU and sound processor is stunningly powerful. They particularly praised its focus on 3D, and also remarked positively on the comfort of the controller and the convenience of the memory cards. Giving the system four and a half out of five stars, they concluded, to succeed in this extremely cutthroat market, you need a combination of great hardware, great games, and great marketing. Whether by skill, luck, or just deep pockets, Sony has scored three out of three in the first salvo of this war. An advertisement slogan used in marketing the console was, Live in your world. Play in ours, it is stylized as, Live in your world. Ply in Ors, another briefly used advertising campaign was titled You Are Not Ready or You Are Not E. Sony. SCCO Lee Klo explained that, It's the ultimate challenge. Gamers love to respond to that tagline and say, Bullshit. Let me show you how ready I am. <laughs> Market success one of the key factors in the PlayStation's success was Sony's approach to third-party developers. Whereas Sega and Nintendo took an isolationist approach, focusing on first-party development while generally leaving third-party developers to their own devices, Sony took efforts to streamline game production by providing a range of programming libraries which were constantly updated online, organizing third-party technical support teams, and in some cases giving direct development support to third-party companies. At the close of 1996, there were approximately 400 games in development for the PlayStation, as compared to approximately 200 games in development for the Saturn and 60 for the Nintendo 64. While the Sega Saturn was marketed towards 18 to 34 year olds, the PlayStation was marketed roughly, but not exclusively, towards 12 to 24 year olds. Both Sega and Sony reasoned that because younger players typically look up to older, more experienced players, they would be drawn in by advertising targeted at teens and adults. Additionally, Sony found that adults are best targeted by advertising geared towards teenagers, according to Lee Klo. One of the first things we resolved early on was that everyone is 17 when they play video games. The young people look up to the best gamer who is usually a little older and more practiced and talented. Then there are people who start working and grow up, but when they go into their room and sit down with their video games, they're regressing and becoming 17 again. Initially PlayStation demographics were skewed towards adults, but after the first price drop the audience began broadening. In 1996, the high demand for PlayStation games contributed to Sony's decision to expand their CD production facilities in Springfield, Oregon, increasing their monthly output from 4 million discs to 6.5 million discs. PlayStation sales were running at twice the rate of Saturn sales, and dramatically increased their lead when both the PlayStation and Saturn dropped in price to $199 in May, in large part because some retailers such as KB Toys did not stock the Saturn. The PlayStation was outselling the Saturn at a similar ratio in Europe as well during 1996, with an accumulated 2.2 million consoles sold in the region by the end of the year. Sales figures for PlayStation hardware and software only increased following the launch of the Nintendo 64. The PlayStation took more time to achieve dominance in Japan. After the PlayStation and Saturn had been on the market for nearly two years, Sony Computer Entertainment president Teruhisa Tokunaka said the competition between them was still very close, and that neither console had yet held the lead in sales for any meaningful length of time. 
Topic: Functionality. Topic: In addition to playing games, select PlayStation models have the ability to play audio CDs. Further, Asian model SCPH5903 can also play video CDs. Like most domestic CD players, the PlayStation has the ability to shuffle the playback order, play the songs in a programmed order, and repeat one song or the entire disc. Later PlayStation models can utilize a music visualization function called SoundScope. This function, as well as a memory card manager, can be accessed by starting the console either without inserting a game or keeping the CD tray open, thereby accessing a GUI for the PlayStation BIOS. The actual GUI for both PS1 and PlayStation differ graphically depending on firmware versions. The original PlayStation GUI had a dark blue background with rainbow graffiti used as buttons. The early PAL PlayStation and PS1 GUI had a gray blocked background with two icons in the middle, different on each version. If the CD lid is closed with a game inside at any time while at the menu, the game will immediately start. Topic. Software library Topic. As of 30 June 2007, a total of 7,918 software titles have been released worldwide, counting games released in multiple regions as separate titles. As of 31 March 2007, the cumulative software shipment was at 962 million units. The last game for the system released in the United States was FIFA Football 2005. However, several reprinted and remastered editions were released in later years. Metal Gear Solid, The Essential Collection was released on 26 July 2007, which contained Metal Gear Solid in the original PlayStation format. In 2011, Capcom released the Resident Evil 15th Anniversary Collection, and in 2012, Square Enix released the Final Fantasy 25th Anniversary Ultimate Box in Japan containing all of the Final Fantasy titles, a majority of which were also in the original PlayStation format. Outside of Japan, PlayStation games were initially packaged in long cardboard boxes similar in dimensions to the packaging for non Japanese 3DO and Saturn games. Sony later switched to the jewel case format typically used for audio CDs and Japanese video games, because this format takes up less retailer shelf space which was at a premium due to the large number of PlayStation games being released, and focus testing showed that most consumers preferred this format. <laughs> Regional variants the OK and Cancel buttons on most of the Japanese PlayStation games are reversed in their North American and European releases. In Japan, the button Maru, right, is used as the OK button, while the button Batsu, wrong, is used as Cancel. North American and European releases have the button or the buttons as the OK button, while either the or the button is used as Cancel some titles like Xenogears use the button for cancelling actions and selections, along with the PlayStation 2 system browser and the crossmedia bar on the PlayStation 3 and the PSP. However, a few games, such as Square. S. Vagrant Story, Final Fantasy VII which used the button as Cancel and Final Fantasy Tactics, Namco. S Ridge Racer Type 4, and Konami's Metal Gear Solid, use the Japanese button layout worldwide. Some other games, like the Japanese version of Gran Turismo, had used different controls that are similar to North American games. These Japanese button layouts still apply to other PlayStation consoles. This is because in the early years Sony America SCEA, Sony Europe SCI, and Sony Japan SCEJ had different development and testing documents TRCs for their respective territories. <laughs> Hardware Topic. Hardware designer Ken Kutaragi stated, the technology came from an original idea to create a synthesizer for graphics, something that takes a basic graphic and then adds various effects to it quickly and easily. The PlayStation utilizes a proprietary video compression unit called MDEC, which is integrated directly into the CPU, allowing the console to play higher quality full motion video than the other consoles of its generation. Topic: Hardware problems. Topic. With the early units, particularly the early 1000 models, many gamers experience skipping full motion video or physical ticking 
Noises coming from their PlayStation units. The problem appears to have come from poorly placed vents leading to overheating in some environments. The plastic moldings inside the console can warp very slightly and create knock-on effects with the laser assembly. The solution is to ensure that the console sits on a surface which dissipates heat efficiently in a well-vented area, or raise the unit up slightly from its resting surface. Sony representatives also recommended unplugging the PlayStation when it is not in use, as the system draws in a small amount of power and therefore heat even when turned off. The first batch of PlayStations used a KSM440AAM laser unit whose case and all movable parts were completely made out of plastic. Over time, friction causes the plastic lens sled rail to wear out, usually unevenly. The placement of the laser unit close to the power supply accelerated wear because of the additional heat, which makes the plastic even more vulnerable to friction. Eventually, one side of the lens sled can become so worn that the laser can tilt, no longer pointing directly at the CD. This would cause data read errors and games would no longer load. One common fix is to turn the PlayStation upside down, making the lens sled rest on the unworn top rails. Sony eventually fixed the problem by making the sled out of die-cast metal and placing the laser unit slightly farther away from the power supply on later models of the PlayStation. Due to an engineering oversight, the PlayStation does not produce a proper signal on several older models of televisions, causing the display to flicker or bounce around the screen. Since only a small percentage of PlayStation owners used such televisions, Sony decided not to change the console design, and instead gave consumers the option of sending their PlayStation unit to a Sony service center to have an official mod chip installed, which would allow it to play on older televisions. Topic. Copy protection Topic. Prior to the PlayStation, the reproduction of copyrighted material for game consoles was restricted to either enthusiasts with exceptional technical ability, or others that had access to CD manufacturers. However, the increased availability of cheap CD burners at this time led Sony to modify the shape of the first portion of the data track on PlayStation formatted discs. A normal data track follows a smooth spiral path around a disc, whereas the modified portion of the data track followed a wavy spiral path. As a result, any discs that did not contain the modified data track such as CDR copies or standard pirated discs could not boot on the console. This modified portion of the data path was used to encode the disc region. For example a disc destined for distribution in the NTSC U.C. region would encode the letters SCEA in Europe, SCI in Japan, SCEI. This served as copy protection as well as region locking. The installation of an unofficial modchip allowed the PlayStation to play games recorded on a regular CDR. Since it worked by injecting the correct region data into the stream it also allowed the console to play games from any region. Several open-source modchips were designed using readily available electronic parts. By the end of the system's life cycle almost anyone with minimal soldering experience was able to perform these modifications. This created a wave of games developed without official approval using free, official tools such as the Net Yaros, unofficial tools, as well as the reproduction of original discs. With the introduction of such devices the console became very attractive to programmers and illegal copiers alike, as well as those who merely wished to protect the lifespan of their lawful, original discs. In 1996 Sony filed lawsuits against a number of companies which advertised such modchips and pirated games. Under the Racketeer-Influenced and Corrupt Organizations Act, some companies notably Doddle, did manage to produce discs that booted on unmodified retail units while using special equipment. Topic. Controller Topic. Instead of a D-pad, which is used for directional movement in nearly every other console then on the market, the PlayStation controller uses four directional buttons. Topic. Peripherals Topic. Peripherals released for the PlayStation include memory cards, the PlayStation mouse, the PlayStation analog joystick, the PlayStation link cable, the multiplayer adapter, a four-player multitap, the memory drive, a disc drive for 3.5-inch floppy disks, the Gunkin, a light gun, and the Glastron, a monoscopic head-mounted display. Topic: Technical specifications. 
Topic CPU 32 bit RISC MIPS R3000A compatible MIPS R3051 33.8688 MHz MDAC motion decoder for FMV playback RAM 2 MB main 1 MB video graphics GPU and geometry transformation engine GTE with 2D rotation scaling 2 5D transparency and fading and 3D affine texture mapping and shading Colors, 16.7 million true color Sprites, 4,000 Polygons, 180,000 per seconds textured, 360,000 per seconds flat shaded Resolution, 256 times 224 to 640 times 480 pixels 480i Sound, 16-bit, 24-channel ADPCM Topic Models Topic. The PlayStation went through a number of variants during its production run. From an external perspective, the most notable change between variants was the reduction in the number of connectors. The RCA jacks were removed in the first revision, and the parallel I.O. port was removed in the final revision. Sony marketed a development kit for hobbyists and developers also known as the Net Yaros, which launched in June 1996 in Japan and in 1997 in other countries. Sold only through an ordering service, the development console came with the necessary documentation and software to program PlayStation games and applications. Topic. PS1. Topic. On 7 July 2000, Sony released the PS1, a smaller, redesigned version of the original PlayStation. It was the highest-selling console through the end of the year, outselling all other consoles, including Sony's own PlayStation 2. A total of 28.15 million PS1 units had been sold by the time it was discontinued in March 2006. A version of the PS1 included a 5-inch mm LCD screen, referred to as the Combo Pack. Topic. PlayStation Classic Topic. On 19 September 2018, Sony announced the PlayStation Classic. It is set to release on 3 December 2018. It will feature 20 pre-installed video games such as Tekken 3, Final Fantasy 7, Jumping Flash, Wild Arms and Ridge Racer Type 4. It will feature two replicas of the wired PlayStation controllers without analog sticks. It will also feature an HDMI output. The maximum resolution will be 720p. It is 45% smaller than the original console. Topic. Successors. Topic. Sony's successor to the PlayStation is the PlayStation 2, which is backwards compatible with its predecessor in that it can play almost every original PlayStation game. The third generation of the PlayStation, the PlayStation 3, was launched on of November 2006 in Japan, 17 November 2006 in North America, and 23 March 2007 in Europe. The backward compatibility of the PlayStation 3 differs by model. The newer PlayStation 3 models, like the Slim, are only backwards compatible with original PlayStation games, however, the older 60GB model, the first PS3 model released, will play PlayStation and PlayStation 2 games through either having the Emotion Engine and or Reality Synthesizer and emulating one or the other. While PlayStation 3 games are not region locked, PlayStation and PlayStation 2 games are only playable on PlayStation 3 consoles from the same region. A third successor, the PlayStation 4, was announced by Sony on 20 February 2013 and was released in the US on 15 November, Europe on 29 November 2013, and Japan and Asia on of February 2014. However, it is backwards compatible with select PS3 games through a download service dubbed PlayStation Now. The PlayStation Portable, or PSP, is a handheld game console first released in late 2004. The PSP is capable of playing PlayStation games downloaded via Sony's online store, and can also play any PlayStation game by using the PlayStation 
S Remote Play feature while the disc is in the PlayStation 3, the successor to the PSP, the PlayStation Vita, was introduced as a part of the eighth generation of video game consoles, and is backwards compatible with original PSP as well as original PlayStation games downloaded from the PlayStation Store. <laughs> Legacy Sony Computer Entertainment was an upstart in the video game industry in late 1994, as the early 1990s were dominated by Nintendo and Sega. Nintendo had been the clear leader in the video game industry since the introduction of the NES in 1985 and the Nintendo 64 was initially expected to maintain this position for Nintendo. The PlayStation S target audience included 15 to 17 year olds who were not the primary focus of Nintendo, and 18 to 29 year olds, who represented the first generation to grow up playing video games. By the late 1990s, Sony became a highly regarded console brand due to the PlayStation, with a significant lead over second place Nintendo, while Sega was relegated to a distant third, the PlayStation. S lead in installed base and developer support paved the way for the success of the next generation PlayStation 2, which overcame an early launch from the Sega Dreamcast and then fended off competition from the Microsoft Xbox and Nintendo GameCube. Topic: <laughs> CD format. Topic: The success of the PlayStation is widely believed to have influenced the demise of the cartridge-based home console. While not the first system to utilize an optical disc format, it is the first highly successful one, and ended up going head-to-head -head with the last major home console for over two decades to rely on proprietary cartridges—the Nintendo 64. Sony Computer Entertainment president Teruhisa Tokunaka remarked in 1996, choosing CD-ROM is one of the most important decisions that we made. As I'm sure you understand, PlayStation could just as easily have worked with masked ROM cartridges. The 3D engine and everything, the whole PlayStation format, is independent of the media. But for various reasons including the economies for the consumer, the ease of the manufacturing, inventory control for the trade, and also the software publishers we deduced that CD-ROM would be the best media for PlayStation. Nintendo was very public about its skepticism toward using CDs and DVDs to store games, citing longer load times and durability issues. It was widely speculated that the company was even more concerned with the proprietary cartridge format's ability to help enforce copy protection, given its substantial reliance on licensing and exclusive titles for its revenue. Piracy was rampant on the PlayStation due to the relative ease of the installation of a mod chip, allowing the PlayStation to play games region free and or recorded on a regular CDR, making the console very attractive to programmers and illegal copiers. The increasing complexity of games in content, graphics, and sound pushed cartridges to their storage limits and this gradually turned off some third-party developers. Part of the CD format S appeal to publishers was that they could be produced at a significantly lower cost and offered more production flexibility to meet demand. As a result, some third-party developers switched to the PlayStation, such as Squaresoft, whose Final Fantasy VII, and Enix later merged with Squaresoft to create Square Enix, whose Dragon Quest VII titles were initially pre-planned for the N64, while some who remained released fewer games to the Nintendo 64 Konami, releasing only 13 N64 games but over 50 on the PlayStation. While new games were coming out rapidly for the PlayStation, new Nintendo 64 game releases were less frequent and that system's biggest successes were developed by either Nintendo itself or by second parties, such as Rare. The lower production costs also allowed publishers an additional source of profit, budget-priced reissues of titles which had already recouped their development costs. See also Topic. List of PlayStation games PlayStation Demo Discs PlayStation Sound Format Topic. Notes Topic. Topic. References Topic. <references>